Shed Wars 21. Okay, so it's supposed to get cold tonight. I have my Chick and Johnny suspenders on, and I'm getting all this uh, ready for the cold. Uh, these are my cucumbers right here. My husband helped me. We covered the the squash, squash over here, and the corn back there, and the planter is there, and one onion had popped up. Everything else is in the utility room, and we just have one last section of tomatoes to cover, and we should probably be good, and maybe my roselle that's coming up over there, but wow. that's basically what we're doing tonight, is getting ready for the last, hopefully the last freeze of the year. Okay. Hubby and I are in the process of covering plants right now because we're going to have a freeze tonight. Under the blue tote is my corn and black-eyed pea. He is trying to cover my jalapeno and tomatillos from my Gladiator 4 Grow Something from the Grocery Store Challenge. And I have some black-eyed peas right here covered with pots. And over here my okra and collard green covered with trash bags and then over here the main thing that's really coming up is the yellow squash so my husband covered those with dixie cups and he used the landscape pins to keep them down so that's what's going on here So just squash beds covered. That's my cucumbers covered. And the only one that's coming up out of there is the roselle down on the end. That's covered. The tomatoes in here aren't coming up yet. So I think they'll be fine. And I only have one onion coming up, so that's covered with a, a cup. So we just have one last little section to cover, and that will be, there's a few tomatoes. See, there's a zinnia there, some basil and tomatoes there. So just a few more Dixie cups. I think and we'll have this pretty good and covered. Everything else is in the utility room. And we're gonna leave the lights on in there for some warmth. Uh, plus there's a grow light in there. And my stevia plant hasn't been planted yet, so we're going to leave that under the grow light till I, when this freeze is over, I'll get that in the ground. But yeah, these tomatoes are from seed. They seem to be doing pretty well. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Eight tomato plants up over here. And those are flowers. And these these this green over here is basil. The planters are covered with tarps. Hopefully this will be the last frost of the year. Hubby's still working consistently on helping me with it. I'm down with my back, so I'm only good to stand for short periods of time so this is what the yard looks like it's filling up with plants still more things to be planted okay so I have basil flowers and some tomatoes coming up here so Dixie cups covering those landscape pins to Pin them down to the ground so they won't blow away if the wind gets up. And then these tomatoes down here are covered. Now, so, everything should be taken care of in the yard. So, I think we are ready for the, we are officially ready for the freeze. Okay, we got all the plants in. So now I'm going to weigh some eggs. Okay. 
Okay. So that's six. Oh, that's a whole dozen. Okay. So how much weight did we get? One pound and five ounces. All right. Not bad at all. Hi, I'm Chicken Johnny, and you need to eat your vegetables. Okay, mixing soil. So my first layer is this topsoil right here. Okay, on top of this topsoil, I sprinkled in some bone meal. And on top of the bone meal, I sprinkled the rest of the perlite that was in my bag. So this will be all I'm going to use for the rest of the year. So I figured I might as well go ahead and use it up. Okay, for my last layer, I put in a layer of cow manure compost. So, now that I got all those layers there, I'm going to mix the topsoil, the bone mill, the perlite, and the cow manure compost all together. Then I will probably add another bag of potting soil and mix again. That way, when I go ahead and fill up my pot for my ground cherries, it'll have a nice mixture of this good soil. And this cow manure compost is fresh off the farm. I got this from the Rusty Pepper. And I will put her link in the description box. She's a super sweet lady and a good little gardener herself. So, this is what it is. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this. And this is how I mix up my soil for my pots. Hello, I got my ground cherries planted from Simply Jan Homestead. She shared a few of these seeds with me, and I'm going to plant them in pots and have them grow up on a trellis. I've never tried this before, so wish me luck. Have a great day, guys. Be blessed and do something kind. Shed Wars 21. <music>